Hello, Gary Champion. Sorry, I'm hearing things. I had to write it down before I forgot it. Um, things have gotten too apocalyptic around here. Some of the videos I'm making, they're about the future. Long, long in the future, some of them. Some of them are fairly close. Don't start tearing your hair out. It, life is good. We're going to recover. We'll be fine, someone just said, which is what prompted this video. Slow to recover, but we'll be fine. You're You're taking life too seriously. Lighten up. Yes, a lot of people are dying, but more people are living. Just depends on how you look at it. Half full, you know, people. Half empty, half full people. They think differently. I can't stop you from thinking apocalyptic. Uh, it's sort of a... A funny thing was, uh, I was watching a television show. Didn't watch it very long. It was about these doomsday preppers out in the middle of nowhere, digging things underground and making vehicles or firing, learning to fire guns. And one of the introduction parts was a guy with a shotgun. He says, I've never owned one. I don't know how to shoot it. What do I do? I'm thinking, these guys think that they can survive an apocalyptic event with a shotgun and a city guy that works at a desk. No, doesn't matter how much food you save up. It doesn't. Doesn't matter how much food you eventually you're going to run out. And if there's an apocalyptic event, the, the ground won't grow new vegetables. There's a time limit. So they're out there spending their life savings, digging underground, learning how to shoot shotguns to fend off the marauding hordes of people who, who want their food. If people want your food, enough of them will come. You're going to lose it anyway. So stop, stop thinking apocalyptic. The future we have is now. The future is now, and life is good. We're getting a little stir crazy around here, but, but we're okay. Life is good. Oh, and by the way, all of that video yesterday about the lizards and my neighbors, every word of that's true. I didn't make any of that up. It just sounded like it. I asked my wife what she thought. She said, well, are you going to tell them it's true? <laughs> every single person there, I pointed at their house. That's exactly what's going on in my neighborhood. So, and poor Stubby, he's still alive. He's still out there. I saw him yesterday afternoon watering some flower pots. Um, you've got to stop thinking so negatively. You've got to stop thinking so neg negatively. It doesn't do you any good. It makes you feel bad. It screws up your immune system. People who laugh a lot don't always have good immune systems. I think laughter maybe has a lot to do with everything. We laugh a lot around here. It's just me and my wife, but we laugh a lot about silly things like these doomsday preppers and lizards and the crazy cat from across the way that's living in our front yard eating all of our lizards. There's a lot to laugh about. Try laughing. It's a lot more fun than woe is me pulling your hair out. The world is not ending. It's not. It's just really in the beginning. Actually, the earth is young. We don't live on an old planet. We live on a young planet. Three billion years from now, when the sun burns out, yeah. Maybe we will have gotten on uh, spaceships and gone to other planets long before that happens. So even that, uh, our species survives. Why? Because we were determined. And determined people don't go away. Start looking at things in your life you can be happy about.
Don't look at the negative. I tend to laugh, laugh about the negative. It's such a small part of my life. If I were to think about it and blow it up into something huge and begin to think about it all the time, day after day after day, now it's a big deal. But negative stuff's usually a small part of what people's lives are. You're lucky to be here. You're lucky to have been here at all. It's an accident that you're here. Take what you can from it. Glean what you can from life. Have as much fun as you can. The economy will recover. We will recover. This is not the first one of these that's come through. We survived all of them. Not everybody did, but the majority of people did. And we have the uh, antibodies in our blood from things that happened, because you know, when our parents, our mothers have antibodies in their blood from things they survived, they pass that on to us. So as time goes on, we get stronger. We don't get weaker. Pandemic is a fact of nature. If we weren't stupid, we wouldn't have it. A comedian I happen to like said, you can't fix stupid. I believe that's true. Take this time to do something you've never done before. Take this time to do something you've always wanted to do, but you've never done before. Reinvent yourself in a way that suits you. Bake a different kind of cake. Put a different icing on it. Cut it in little pieces and feed it to the neighborhood cat. Do something you've always wanted to do, but you've never done. I don't think this cat likes cake, likes lizards. <laughs> so find something to laugh about. Find something to be happy about. The world is a good place. We're good people. We're determined. We'll survive. There's, there's nothing happening now that wasn't supposed to happen. Pandemics come through periodically. And we don't know when they started, maybe in caveman days, but they've always been around. Things from the environment end up in our world and we get infected by them. Life is good, stop worrying. It's the only advice I have. It works for me, it should work for you. You want to be a Debbie Downer, go ahead, but try not to drag everybody around you into your little vortex of crap. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.